boys and girls. I am Ms. Moran, and welcome back to your math lesson. So yesterday I told you we were going to be uh, learning about measurement. So today we're going to be talking about measuring different objects. But before we measure, uh, there are certain rules, and I'm going to read them to you here. Here's the paper, and then I'm going to show you a little bit more detail in a little bit. So let's go over this first. So when you're measure, measuring, uh, you can use different things to measure. You can use cubes to measure something. You can even use paper clips. You can use a ruler. You can use different things to measure. The only thing is that you can mix and match. You can't say, well, I'm gonna measure with a cube or, or um, uh, a cube and then a paper clip next to it and then a ruler. You can't. So if you're gonna use uh, the cubes, you have to use the cubes. And if you want to use the paper clips, you have to use the paper clips. Or if you want to use the ruler, you have to use the ruler. I'll show you a little bit what I mean in a little bit. Also, when you're using these um, objects to measure, you got to make sure you keep them in a straight line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you have to try your best to keep it in a straight line. Like here, here we have a thumbs up because this is the way we want it to look. We want the paper clips to be straight. This is thumbs down because we don't want them to be all crooked and up and down because you're not going to get a correct measurement. Another rule is that when you're using um, your object to measure, you got to make sure you don't leave gaps. See, like here, this is a gap. The objects need to be touching each other, but they can't be on top of each other either. So they can't be like this one that's on top of that one, right? So let me show you what I mean, and then we're going to start measuring things. So I'm going to show you all of this so that you can understand it a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I meant with the rules of measurement. So the first one is you can either use cubes. Or you have to use when you're measuring an object, like say I have this block that I want to measure. If I want to measure it with cubes, I have to use cubes. And if I want to measure it with paper clips, I have to use the paper clips the whole time. And if I want to use a ruler, then I have to use the ruler. But I cannot do, oh, let me do one cube, one paper clip, and now the ruler. You can't do that. You have to choose one, and you have to stick with it, okay? The second rule was like when you're measuring something, so say I have this block right here, and I want to measure it. Uh, you have to make make sure you keep a straight line. It has to be straight like this. Can't have it like that. And we're, if you're using cubes, you can't have it all crooked like this. You have to make sure you have it straight. Same thing with the ruler. You have to put it straight. You can't put it like this way. That's not straight. You're not going to get the right answer. All right? Also, if you're using different objects, you have to make sure there's no gaps. This is a gap. You cannot have gaps. You have to put them more close together like that. And you can't have overlaps either. Overlaps is when you put one on top of the other. So you can't be doing like something like this. The blue one's on top of that one. No, it has to be straight like this right another rule is that you start right here you start measuring at the edge and then you're gonna have to end there it's not gonna be perfect you can't start over here you can't start right there because there's nothing here it won't be correct you have to start right there all right so um those are the rules for measuring and now i'm going to use today i'm going to use cubes to measure uh different toys so we're going to do that together okay so the first thing i'm going to measure is this toy right here it's just a a block a toy block and so i'm going to use my cubes i'm going to put that one right here where it begins and i'm going to keep going till i get to the end i'm going to stop right there i'm not going to keep going so here's another one and i'm going to put them together because it's going to make it easier so that way i don't leave gaps i don't overlap i don't go crooked it'll be straight so that's why i'm doing this and 
And so the beginning has to be exact. The end sometimes it goes, it might go a little bit over, but that's fine. So let's count how many cubes uh, this toy, how long this toy is. So it, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this uh, block is six cubes long. All right. So now let's do, let's put this little car like this. Let's do the, it's a little car, but it's kind of hard for you to see it this way. Or maybe not. Yeah, you can see it this way. So let's measure this one. And I'm going to start there at the very beginning. I'm going to use my finger to make sure I'm right there. Two, three, four, and five. It went over a little bit, but that's fine. So we do one, two, three, four, five. So this toy car is five cubes long. All right, let me do another toy. Put it right here and we're gonna count the cubes. We're gonna measure it and then count the cubes. So let me start with the white one. One. Two, three, four, and maybe I can do another one. Mm -hmm. So around there. So we have one, two, three. And four. This green car is four cubes long. Okay. So did you see that I started at the very beginning? I didn't start measuring over here or back here. I started where it begins and then I went all the way to the end of the object. I didn't leave gaps. I put them all together and I use cubes. Okay. So this is just a, an example of how measuring or how you can measure. So now, um, we're going to do your homework. I'm going to go over it. It's something what similar to this. So let me show you that. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be your homework. So see how we have cubes here also. And we're measuring with cubes. But this is the object that we're measuring. We're not counting the cubes. We're using the cubes to measure uh, the stick. So we got to, we, it's going to start here. And then we're going to stop counting where it ends. We're not going to count those. Okay, so count with me. It's one, two, three, four, and five. So that's five cubes. So we're going to click right here and we're going to put five. All right? Let's go to the next one. So remember, you're counting the stick, not the cubes. You're just using the cubes. Um, we're measuring with the cubes. So we're going to see how long this blue line is. And it starts measuring here at the beginning. And we're going to stop counting at the end. Okay. So this one we're not going to count. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this blue line uh, or blue stick is seven cubes long so we're going to click here and we're going to type number seven okay that's going to be your homework for today and now let us review what we learned today so today we learned how to measure something and how to count uh the objects to know how long or how tall an object is we learned the rules of how to measure we learned that we cannot mix 
the units that we're measuring with. If we're going to uh, use cubes, we have to use cubes all the way for that one object. And if you use paperclip, you're going to use paperclip all the way. And if you're going to use a ruler, you use the ruler all the way. We also learned that when we're, we're using uh, those units, we have to put them in a line, straight line, not a crooked line. We also learned that when we're using the units, we put them one next to each other. We don't leave gaps and we don't put them one on top of the other. That's very important. We also learned that when we're measuring, we start at the beginning with the object and then we stop where the object ends, okay? Like when we were measuring the block, we started measuring right here. We started to put the cubes right here and then we stop right here. And that's where we measure and then we counted how many cubes were between the beginning and the end, all right? Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I will see you here tomorrow where we are going to continue learning more about measuring and measurement, okay? You have a good day and I will see you here tomorrow. Bye.